Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at 8 changes we are going to see around our island throughout the month of April. There is quite a lot to get through so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are now coming to the end of March on the New Horizons Island and just as you'd expect we're about to see a whole bunch of changes as we transition into April. As always some of these changes are adjustments to seasonal materials and recipes, some are changes to the island's aesthetics and other environmental changes and some are of course new features, events and seasonal holidays which is pretty exciting. Plus even more new content has been added in the latest 1.9 update that introduced the Sanria villagers which changes things too. Anyway we'll cover the different between hemispheres as we go but most of the changes applies to both anyway. So please leave a like on the video it helps out so much and here are 8 changes and new additions we can expect to see during the month of April. Number 1 Seasonal Crafting Although not a brand new season in New Horizons, April does see some new seasonal crafting materials. From April 1st through to April 10th, the Sakura season blossoms on the New Horizons island and the cherry blossom petals will begin spawning and falling from cherry blossom trees. These crafting materials can be caught using nets and used to craft cherry blossom themed items including the cherry blossom pond stone, cherry blossom lantern and cherry blossom clock amongst others. Just like last year and all seasonal materials since, the cherry blossom DIY recipes can be found inside the balloon presents that float across our skies. Unfortunately the southern hemisphere doesn't see any new seasonal materials yet but can still collect acorns and pine cones. Of course if you've been playing since launch you've probably already seen these materials in the previous rotation but if you've joined the community since you'll probably be seeing these for the first time. Number 2 Seasonal Holidays Thanks to the latest 1.9 update that introduced the Sanria villagers last week, both hemispheres have some new seasonal holidays to look forward to, along with some exclusive limited time items to celebrate them. The first is of course April Fool's Day, which although is celebrated on the 1st of April, actually begins on March 26th when the Whoopee Cushion prank item can be purchased. The Whoopee Cushion comes in multiple colours and can be purchased from the Nook Stop during the event. Moving on from April 1st and through to April April 10th we'll be celebrating tree planting day which is better known as Sing Mogil and traditionally a Korean holiday. In celebration of tree planting day we can purchase the Forsythia tree from the Nook Stop. Next we have Nature Day which is scheduled to run from April 15th through to April 22nd. Much like Bunny Day which we'll cover shortly, this is one of the first events to be refreshed for 2021 and will play out slightly different to last year. In celebration of Nature Day 2021, we'll be able to get our hands on the classic Cool Globe item which is pretty awesome. And finally April marks the start of the prom season and adds a whole bunch of seasonal exclusives as well as new clothing items. In celebration of prom season we'll be able to purchase items such as the prom wall, floor and sash from the nook stop as well as a variety of clothing items from the April sisters. These items will be available for the entire month but we'll cover this in more detail in a future video. Number 3 Weather now every now and then we see a shift in the weather patterns or weather phenomena that occurs around the New Horizons Island. From the start of April and through to the end of summer in the Northern Hemisphere the fog that's typically seen near rivers or the sea comes to an end. For the past few months it has been possible to encounter fog near water between the hours of 5am and 9am however this will no longer happen from April as the weather gets warmer. Naturally this is the other way around for players in the Southern Hemisphere who from March 21st will be able to encounter not only only light fog near water but also heavy fog all across the island. Have you encountered any fog yet? Be sure to let us know in the comments. Number 4 Island Aesthetics now just like every new month in Animal Crossing New Horizons we can expect some changes to the island or the environment itself. We've already mentioned the cherry blossom trees will spawn but April also sees a shift in the types of bushes that bloom. In the northern hemisphere the red and pink camellia bushes stop flowering but from April the 11th the pink and white azalea bushes start. So you have around 2 weeks to swap out any bushes if you prefer to see them in bloom. Now there's technically no changes to the bushes that flower in April for the southern hemisphere however orange and yellow tea olives have only just started flowering from March 21st so April will be the first full month of these bushes in bloom. Number 5 Holiday Events 
So April wouldn't be complete without celebrating Bunny Day, which thanks to the recent 1.9 update is returning to New Horizons. From March 28th and running through to April 4th, we'll be able to find and collect a variety of Easter egg crafting materials and use them to craft Bunny Day themed items including the Bunny Day table, Bunny Day wardrobe and the Bunny Day arch amongst others. This event is very similar to last year's, however Bunny Day 2021 will not only be shorter, but will see all new Bunny Day items made available to purchase from Nook's Cranny, including the Bunny Day Garden Sign and the Bunny Day Planter Box amongst others. Number 6. Tawnies now, no matter which region you're playing in, players in both the Northern and Southern Hemispheres will see CJ stop by to host the next fishing tourney. Naturally, different hemispheres will feature slightly different fish during the event, as players in the Northern Hemisphere will be taking part in the Spring Fishing Tourney, and players in the Southern Hemisphere will be taking part in the Fall Fishing Tourney. However, April's Fishing Tourney will be held on April the 11th for both hemispheres. I'm sure you know how they work by now, but essentially, you have to catch as many fish as you can before the timer runs out, and the more points you earn, the more prizes CJ will award you. Of course, even if you've already taken part in the event in the past, it's still a great opportunity to get a hold of some of the items you missed, or some variations of items you already have, such as the fish print poster, which comes in a variety of designs. Number 7. Nook Link once again, thanks to the latest version 1.9, April will see a brand new feature added to the New Horizons ecosystem. Sometime between now and the beginning of April, the Nook Link app that's available in the Nintendo Switch Online app for smartphones will see an update that adds a new currency to the game. In short, you'll be able to log in every day and earn new Nook points that aren't too dissimilar to Nook Miles. These can then be redeemed against some brand new exclusive items including Tom Nook and Isabel's photos. Although these prizes, as well as a few others, have yet to be officially confirmed. Basically, from April, we can buy these items in the Nook Link app and then transfer them over to New Horizons. However, you will need a Nintendo Switch Online membership to be able to do this. Number 8. Critters now, probably the most obvious change we see from month to month, especially for those who have been playing for a while, is of course to the bugs, fish and deep sea creatures that we can encounter around the New Horizons Island. Players in the Northern Hemisphere will be able to encounter 22 new critters in total during April. There's far too many to cover right now, but some of these new critters include the Madagascan Sunset Moth, the Snapping Turtle, which looks really fierce, and the Sea Pineapple. Players in the Southern Hemisphere are in the same situation, however will only encounter 6 new critters during April, mostly due to the weather getting colder. Again, too much to go through right now, but some of these new critters include the Ladybug, the Dab and the Spiny Lobster amongst others. Of course, for those who have been playing for some time may have already encountered these, but new players will only be seeing some of these for the first time, which is nice. So there we have it, that was 8 fairly significant changes that we can expect to see during the month of April, with pretty much all of them affecting both hemispheres in one way or another. But what do you think about these changes? Are you looking forward to pranking your friends with a whoopee cushion, and will you be taking part in the fishing tourney? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe as we'll be uploading a bunch of New Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment fog just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include whether or not you've experienced fog on your island. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.